Hello fellow musicians, welcome back to another video, and as promised, in my last video, where I mentioned, like, where I were, was talking about how I feel about the whole Black Widow supposedly being set after, shortly after the offense of Captain America Civil War, and how Iron Man was going to be in the Black Widow movie as a cameo. I'm going to talk about how there's another rumor that there's going to be like Tony Stark being more like a Jarvis like character in the future MCU movies. Like in the Ironheart movies, which if I remember correctly, Ironheart is Tony Stark's and Pepper Potts daughter. Morgan Stark, and their daughter takes up, oh, in a sense, the Iron Man mantle, but doesn't call herself Iron Man, she calls herself Ironheart, so she, she's her own character, without trying to, to exactly be her father, per se, if you get what I'm talking about, so, Jar, I'm okay with it, because Jarvis was, the butler to the Starks before that character died. I guess in between, like the offense of Captain America, the First Avengers, and Iron Man, one in terms of like the timeline. Cause in terms of the timeline, or er, yeah, in terms of the timeline, Captain America, First Avengers, was the. In the timeline, was the first MCU hero. Then comes Captain Marvel, which was an okay movie at best. Then comes Iron Man. And between, I want to say between Captain America, the first adventure, and Captain Marvel. That was around when uh, Jarvis probably died, the butler one. So, and later, Iron Man, or Tony Stark, used his, uh, his voice, Jarvis's voice, to be, to be the AI, which later became Vision. So, them using the similar approach, but to Tony Stark, I wouldn't have an issue with. I'm hoping Robert Downey Jr. won't have an issue with this either, because if they go down this road, all Tony Stark has to do, or all Robert Downey Jr. has to do is voice act, which I know it's not exactly as easy as it sounds, but so easier job than what he may be used to as being Iron Man. And I know there's some fans who might hate this idea, but I am opening this idea with open arms. Because I, even though, yeah, there's part of me that being skeptical about this. Because we just saw Iron Man die in Endgame. And a part of me is kind of like iffy about this. Is like Iron Tony Stark's being the new Jarvis per se. But I am okay at the same time with Tony Stark being the whole Jarvis. Because it's kind of like, yeah, even though Tony Stark died in Endgame, there's still that little part of him. Outside of his of his daughter carrying on his legacy, but as Ironheart, that Tony Stark is still alive, kind of. And I mean, I can see potential in this. I can really can if they play their cards right. I mean, at least for like a few MCU movies, and maybe have it where. Like, within two MCU movies, at the very least, and maybe have Ironheart have the memory of, like, her father be so 
much that she changes her father's voice back to Friday. I don't know. It's just I can see so much potential in Tony Stark's voice being the new Jarvis, practically. And I know I might get some hate on this video because of that, and I know there's some hate in general, or some people frustrated with this, because I understand they, Robert Downey Jr. does not want to be in the MCU anymore, as far as I'm aware. And by doing this, they're also kind of going against the actor's wishes, which I totally understand that. I And also, I gotta admit, the part that's kind of frustrated, the side of them is kind of frustrated, is frustrated out of that. But long story short, I, even though there's that part of me that's kind of frustrated with this, I'm not mad. And I know that probably does not make any sense, but it's true. So, like, and maybe they'll make him an actual Iron Man. If you get what I mean. Now, that might be stupid. I don't know. And if the, anyone at Marvel, at the MCU, is watching this, then they're probably going to steal that idea from me. As long as they give me credit, I don't care if they use that idea for me. Even though it might be bad. I just want my credit with my credits through. Anyways, uh... So yeah, long story short, you know there's some skepticisms from me about this. I'm not mad about this news. So what do you guys think? Are you... What do you guys... How do... How do you guys feel about this whole Tony Stark being the new Jarvis type role? Like, pretty, pretty much being the new AI for Team Iron Man or Team Ironheart. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys soon. And don't just think of this. Because <laughs> I'm right on myself.